All right, in this video, we're going to look at one of the uh, examples we worked through in, in, in class. And uh, this was to find the sum, uh, k equals 1 to 12, of 2 thirds k minus 1. Now, the uh, brute force way to do this would be to uh, evaluate it at 1, and then evaluate it at 2, and then etc. And evaluate it at 12, which is where we're going to stop. But that's kind of tedious, and uh, it'd be even worse if this was 120. Um, so we would like to have some properties, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to use some properties to uh, simplify this down and make it a little bit easier. Um, the first property we're going to look at is if we have um, a sequence AK, and then we're going to subtract uh, BK from it term-wise, and then we're going to add up the first 12 uh, terms. We can actually do it separately. We can add up all the AKs, and we can add up all the BKs, and then we can subtract them afterwards. So that's what this first property is allowing us to do with finite sums. Um, so we're going to go K equals 1 to N of AK minus BK, and that just allows us to sum up the AKs, sum up the BKs, and then subtract them afterwards. Just convenient there. So we'll go ahead and do that with our example here k equals 1 at 12, 2 thirds k minus uh, k equals 1 to 12 of just the singleton 1. Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to be allowed to factor the 2 thirds out and then this particular sequence, not sequence, uh, summation means 1 plus 1 plus 1 12 times. And so if we add 1 12 times, it's just 12. Okay. And uh, I think I write it over here as um, um, c times k. So k equals 1 to n of ck. Now, I could actually be a little bit more um, general with this. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a ck. It could actually be ak. Okay. Um, well, let's try again because I don't have enough room. AK equals, and see we're allowed to factor that that C out right there, um, and then what I'm going to have inside my summation now is going to be an AK. Um, so nothing wrong with having it as K, but we can be a little bit more general and use AK instead. Okay. Um, the other property we're going to use here is, and so this 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 property right here. We'll, we'll kind of use it for this one right here. Um, and in this case, it'll be just the K. Um, and the other one we're going to use is K equals 1 to N of uh, K. And that's going to be N, N plus 1 over 2. And we proved that one by induction in class. Um, so let's go ahead and factor out the 2 thirds. Sum K equals 1 to 12. And then we have just K minus. And then if we're just adding up 1 12 times, it's just 12, um, 2 thirds, and then applying our formula here, um, where n is 12, so it's going to be 12 times 12 plus 1, which is 13, divided by 2 minus 12, and then if you crunch those numbers, that's going to give us uh, say 78 there. So being kind of familiar with the, the formulas over here on the, uh, the right side will make the, this a little bit easier, um, that, that way you don't have to brute force evaluating this particular sum.